So there's more feathers right there. All right, so a little different here. Um, I went out to fly the drone right there and capture that, and Morgan's out and is over by this fence, and all of a sudden I hear her start barking, like growling like something's wrong. She starts growling, all of a sudden backs off and runs, and then all the chickens run, the little baby chicks, and then I hear two of them start screaming, and Morgan takes off, so I immediately go in and just grab my handgun. I don't know what it is and then run down here and I only got a view up there from up top looking down and the, the biggest coyote I've ever seen a thick old coyote had one of the chicks in its mouth and it ran across the stream here and I only fired off two shots just to scare it but I mean I know a little handgun ain't gonna do nothing against it, but I went and then I ran in and grabbed the AR and came back out, but obviously he's long gone after I fired those two shots. Any of the feathers or anything, just to, I know it was the chick. Like you could hear him like screaming. Oh, I'm not seeing him or any feathers or anything. I heard a splash, so it definitely hit water right here and then hopped, it definitely hit water right here and then hopped over that fence right there. I've never seen the coyotes here. I've only just heard them off in the distance and I haven't heard them in I don't know how long. This is the first one and this is freaking broad daylight. Oh, there's feathers right there. Shh, dang it. Dude, so he must have hopped right here then over this and cleared it. Man. That sucks. I noticed yesterday we were we were missing four chicks. We were down to 17. And I thought maybe they were just like in a little group, not back. And sure enough, this is what's, there's more feathers over there. So this is what's been happening then. It's, it's been a damn coyote this whole time. Here I am trying to trap raccoons and it's been a coyote. So there's more feathers right there. So I bet this is where it's been bringing them to then. There's a lot of feathers. All right, well. I guess we set up a trail cam down here then. Man. I tell you, there is nothing more frustrating than raising baby chicks to be egg growers and then you just have them picked off like this from you oh my gosh and i know i say like all the time like you know chicks are cheap and we can replace them they're buck 99 or whatever but it's all that goes into them they could be they become part of your family like you see how the chickens interact with me and stuff and hey man this is frustrating all right well now we know so we gotta set up some trail cams then and figure this out and I don't know how you get rid of coyotes other than shooting them, so just keep the AR at hand, I guess.
Yeah, though, huh? Wow. Of course, right as I'm gonna go set up trail cams, decides to start freaking storming again. Whatever, I gotta do it, because it's supposed to be even worse weather tomorrow, so. Well, I was gonna try to do it anyway, because it was only drizzle, but now it's like, Ay, ay, ay. Killing me, Smalls. You're killing me, Smalls. All right. We got a break. Got a break. We've had some of the loudest thunder I've heard in the longest time. Just, just now. Freaking crazy. I'm going to switch these boots. We're going to go put up these trail cams while we got a break. All right. Got that, where are my SD cards? So, so I'm only counting, let's see, what we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we got nine, nine girls here, and then six babies, I'm at 15. I had 21 chickens, so we're down six chickens now. Um, yeah. No wonder you guys are all following me around. I'd be scared too. All these little ones, the babies, are hanging out together. They haven't left. They haven't left each other. They're they have been a tight little knit group. Um, no, you guys do not want to follow me. You need to go that way. Trust me. The problem is, I don't know if this one has a card. I don't even know if these batteries are good. That one's good stuff. We're gonna go put these up. Can you guys stay here? Give you feed or something. I'll keep you here. All right, so I was just talking to Halcom. Um, Halcom, Halcom's a big hunter. So he knows a little bit about this stuff. And I was reading up on coyote in Tennessee. And um, you can hunt coyote um, at all times of the day in, in Tennessee if it's um, if they're as predators to your livestock, which killing chickens, they are. Um, Otherwise, it's only sunrise to sundown, shooting, trapping, all that stuff. It's all season long. It's all year long. There is no season. Um, so really, setting these cameras up aren't going to do me much. They're more of like a reactive because all I'm going to be able to tell is the coyote, if there's more than one, how often he's coming or she. Sorry, don't want to generalize coyotes. Um, and then like kind of where they're coming from. So, well, that was kind of cool, right? <laughs> see, see, there's more than coyotes. And like, like we like the deer population and stuff that are running through and stuff. And like, I want coyotes. I like my chickens. Like I said, all I can really do is just kind of get a gauge of where they're at, where they're coming from, what they're doing. And then go from there then kind of game plan how we can get this thing scared off so i am gonna put these on a tree down here it is slipperier than heck even with these boots on So I couldn't get it on that one, but I got it on that one. So that'll give us enough of a look just to see if it's crossing right here. I think that's where it's crossing. That's where I saw it go with the chicken. So um, I'm assuming that's where it kind of goes back. Now I want to place one closer. I don't know if I want to face one this way now and just see where it's coming through the forest part. We'll try to get it up closer to the coop. You know, I'll try to get closer to the coop. I'll leave. Look at there's something right there. There's a chicken. Bums me out, man. Yeah. I'm trying to find a footprint or a track to show y'all and just if you don't think I'm crazy, but I figure y'all are gonna think I'm crazy anyways. What does that matter? Alright, this one. I think I'm gonna point just this way. 
see if we catch anything going through here. Just that view. Coop is up here over on this side. So I don't think it's going to come up this main part. It's going to walk through here. We'll start here and then go from there. All right, scratch that. Changed my mind. I'm going to put it up towards the coop more where I think the babies have been kind of like hanging out. Dude, this little hill. This thing is this steep. So I read up on it on some of the hunting forums and the Tennessee uh, wildlife page. I guess you could pick off a coyote with a shotgun. I didn't know. They got special shot for it too, so I need to go get that. Because obviously I'd rather use that uh, if I'm coming out of the house or something. Instead of uh, the rifle. I don't wanna I don't like shooting a rifle in this area. Not that anyone's in here, but you never know. Could be someone random walking through. Don't want that on my hands, so shotguns a little bit. Feel a little bit better about that. See the babies hang out here, just on the other side of the fence. And I think that's where it was coming up through this back side on the back side of the coop. Grabbing them and then just taking off down there. So I'm gonna set up a camera in there, I think. So we've got two of the black ones today. So I got four four road iron and reds left, two of the black ones left of the babies. This is so frustrating. All right, let's figure out where we're gonna put this guy. So the babies hang out in here, in this area. So he obviously crept in, you know, somewhere and just snatches them. So I just need to put it kind of up here facing into here, I guess. I don't know. It's kind of a difficult spot. Whoa, all right, we set that one up. Batteries are dead though, so I'm gonna go put new batteries in that one. Oh, it's a little warm right now. <laughs> now that it's rained and the heat picked up, it's just a little hot box right now. Just a sweaty mess. Oi, this is this is what you get for having when you have property and you have livestock, this is what you deal with. This is what you deal with. 